Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at using if conditional statements in C++. Now what I have in my code here to start out with is the code that will generate a random number between 1 and 10. Now I have a separate video tutorial that explains how this code is created and how it works. So right now if I run this then it's just going to output a random number on our screen here from 1 to 10. So each time I go to run it, we'll get a different value in here. So we're going to set this up so that when it runs, we're going to be able to check to see if the number is too high or too low for a user's guess. So what I'm going to begin with is a little bit of uh, introductory information for the user. So I'm just going to paste some introductory code in here. We're going to say welcome to the secret number game and then tell them to guess a number between 1 and 10. And then I'm initializing their guess to start out at 0. And then we'll get the guess in from the user. And just so that we can check, we'll do a C out statement that says you guessed, and then we'll put in what they put in. So let's just run that and see. We should see our secret number value, and then this information and our input. All right, so here we have our secret number, uh, and then our introductory text, guess a number from 1 to 10, and I'm just going to put in a number of 4. So we have our, our secret number displaying. Let's put in end line in there so make it look a little nicer and we'll run it again All right so here's our secret number and then what our guess is so now what we want to do is check to see if our guess is a match or if it's too high or too low now the tools that we can use in programming for something like this are conditional statements and the first one we'll start with is a simple if condition. So we'll say if, and then our condition. Now we'll, this is what we want to check for. So we want to see if the secret number is equal to, so double equal signs will check to see equality, is equal to their guess. And then we have a set of curly braces here, opening and closing curly braces. And then where it has statements in here, now your editor may do something different or nothing at all. But inside these curly braces will be the code of what we want it to do if this is true. So only if what's inside the parentheses is true is when the code inside those braces will run. So let's just do a simple C out statement that says, you guessed it. So since we're printing out the number here, we can do a quick test to see if this if statement will work. So if I'm going to run this again, so I know that the number is 7, so I'm going to put in 7. And so we guessed, this is our message here, and it says we guessed it. So let's comment this line out. We don't need to see that each time we put it in. We could say, you guessed it, the number was, and then we'll put in secret number. So let's try it now without putting in the right number. What happens then? So we know it's 8, so we'll put in anything other than 8, and that's it. it does, nothing else happens. So let's put a C out statement in here that says game ended. That way we'll know that we got to this point. So if I run and test it again, we know it's 9, and I'm going to put in anything other than 9, and it gets to game ended. So what happens is this evaluated to false, they're not equal, so it does not run the C out message here and it exits out of this if statement and then just continues on with the rest of the program. So now let's do some other checks. Let's say 
what happens if they guess too high? We can say if, in our condition check, we can say secret number is greater than the guess. Then we can do a see out statement that says that their guess was too low. So let's try running that. And then we can test to see if this gets picked up. So if the secret number is greater than my guess, that means I have to put in something less than four. So I'm gonna put in one. And then it tells me that my guess is too low. So it does, this is false, so it doesn't do this. This was true, so it printed out too low, and then it continued down with the rest of the program. So let's do that if the guess is too high. And all we have to do is switch this so that if secret number is less than the guess, and we'll say too high. So now let's test that out. So we have three, so I have to put in something higher than that. So we'll put in seven, and it says our guess is too high. So what's happening here is we're getting the information in from the user after we've created a random number for the secret number. And then we're going to check with each of these if statements. So we have a series of if statements. So each one is actually going to be run and evaluated. So it's going to, first of all, see if they're equal. And if they are, print out this message. And then it's going to come down here, even though this may have been true, it's going to still come down here and it's going to check this one. And it's going to say secret number greater than guess evaluate to see if that is true or false. And if it's true, run the lines that are inside the curly braces. If it's false, it won't do anything and it's just gonna continue down with the next one. So in this example, each one of these if statements will be run and executed. It's going to check the condition to see if it's true. And if it is, then it runs what's inside the curly braces. If not, skips and continues down. So this would be one method of checking things by writing a series of if statements.